What's going on people, it's your boy Mr. Oda Pro, the best boxer you probably haven't heard of yet. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I've got over 100 videos teaching you how to box, how to keep fit, and even my nutrition. I train with world-class athletes all the time, and today I'm gonna to take you to train with me. I'm currently training in my work break, so I'll have to go to work, train, and then go back to work. But let's get to the video. <clears throat> 7 a.m., just got to work. Um, gonna train in my break. This is something I normally do like every day. I ain't eating nothing yet. She just pulled up to uh, training now. So I usually get changed in the car and then, yeah, get gone. So, so right now, cause I'm not sparring, um, cause I ain't got a fight date. Um, sometimes I can go in and someone might need some sparring. So I'm not sure if I'll be sparring or just basic bag work and pads today. So, but I'll see, looking forward to it. Let's go. This is it, man, this is the Mecca. As soon as I get to the gym, I get my hand wraps on and I get straight in the ring for four to six rounds of shadow boxing. So I usually start off defense, then you know, work on a jab, straight shots, hooks, and then sort of put it all together. But I feel like shadow boxing is such an underrated tool when it comes to just sharpening up your skills and boxing in general. So today in the gym, coach wanted us to skip and he didn't say how long to skip for. He was just like, yeah, skip. And then at random times, he would say high knees. At random times, he would say sprint, you know, skipping. But it was good. It was something different. It was good. After that, we got straight onto the bag work. After the skipping, I was sweating like crazy. So I had to take off the top and I am looking like a beast. As you can see, I've got power in both hands. The jab, the hooks, everything's got power. But what's power if you can't set it up? So that's the great thing about this gym. They teach you how to use your skills. They teach you how to use your attributes. And there's always about three coaches there. Sometimes they'll just give you encouragement. Sometimes they will have to break down things you're doing wrong. As you can see here, and you go again and then you get it right. And you spend the whole session working on the things they're giving you tips on. In this gym, not only are the coaches great and super knowledgeable, but the other athletes, the other boxers in the gym are great too. There is so much talent there. And you know what? It pushes you. When you're in the gym and there's guys in there who have got the same work rate as you, sometimes even more, it pushes you to do better and it pushes you to be great. As a boxer, things can be quite lonely. And yeah, you won't always have the, the blessing of being able to train with other people and that lift your, your spirit or lift your energy levels but when you have got that and you are you can be around people it's really good to be around the right people man to push you and you want to be in a gym where you know you're pushed and everyone's trying to work hard and everyone's trying to get places but after the bag work i got to into a bit of technical sparring with um shakan pitters me and him are in the same weight class, but he's a little bit taller than me. He's 6'6", six, six. I'm 6'3", six, um, and that's actually strange for me. Usually I'm the tallest in my weight class, so I'm never really jabbing up. So it's really good for me to get different types of looks, different tips, and to fight against someone with more range than me. After that, I cool down and I stretch, and that was the end of the session. This is what it takes, guys. So, quickly, my break is up now. I've got to quickly back back to work, have a shower and get my back into my day and you know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta sacrifice, sacrifice your break. I ain't eating today. Did um, how many rounds of bags, I can't remember. Skipping for 20, 15 minutes straight, shadow boxing. This is what it takes, you know what I'm saying? And I'm dedicated, this is something I do most days. If I can't get to the gym, I'm doing it by myself. Um, it's great to be in there with the pros today and just pick up little bits, little tricks. Uh, but yeah, check in with you guys later.